Hello, Chef Chucks. It's me, Maya Chef Chuck. Welcome to another Idea Sunday. Have you watched the Idea Sunday where I made this doll suitcase with a shaker? If not, I'll let you know in the description or the pinned comment. But anyways, now the shaker. Part of me, I still want to experiment with it. But this time, not a suitcase, a hoodie for Nicholas Mello. Whoa, whoa, whoa. For such a tiny 112 scale doll, hoodie that has a shaker, you say? I thought to myself, why not? Let's try it. I ever I'll have to cut this cabbage on for this to work and I'll have to pull out these scissors and cut and cut and until I get the pieces that I want for it this is how far I've cut it with scissors. I'm surprised that the scissors actually managed to do this even though my hand is like thinking I went insane to do this. Hands can tend to protest about me doing this to cabochons from time to time especially to do this to it it can just say oh no not this again maybe it's because I've put so much force into cutting it with scissors so that's why it thinks I went insane I was trying to cut it until it gets into a fish shape, but it looks chewed up by a doll skilled dog. I don't have a dog, I only have two cats. However, if I had a dog, I wouldn't allow them in to a room with cabochons in it or else the series wouldn't last with a dog and these things for dogs are really dangerous so don't feed your dogs cabochons but anyways I'm going to get rid of the black parts of it. Okay. The black parts are gone. Now let's use an orange marker to make it into gummy fish. I may also experiment with red as well as the orange hmm. what about a little bit of red to it like a coral red maybe let's use the scarlet to get it even more the color I wanted, don't want it to be too orange, but don't want it like red, red, like an orangey red. And black marker for the eyes and mouth. Before I glitter up the fish, 
I want to make sure there's enough space on the hood because I want the hood to be the shaker but also be a right size for Nicholas Mello. So, a shaker hoodie. In real life, there's no such thing, so I'm about to invent this for my dolls. Imagine that. Maybe those things only exist in fiction. Who knows? Maybe those hoodies could be like a new fashion trend. Who knows what will happen? This hood is too small, especially for the shaker part. Attempt number two. Let's try this. On Nicholas Mello, however, I'll still have to stitch it into a top. That's a better match. So now I'm going to mark where I'm going to make the shaker part in the hoodie, like in the hood of it. Okay, I've marked it. Now I'm going to cut it off and put white fabric. White fabric, time to stitch it on to patch the area. Not only patching up the hole, but also making it into the shaker feature of the piece of clothing. The hole has been patched up and this will help me know exactly where is the shaker feature. I have this half stitched dome that I'm creating for the shaker hoodie. I hadn't stitched it all the way so I could just test it out to see if that will work. And will that work? Could be so for the inside I still want the orange so going to do that before stitching the fish inside it and the dome on it um I think I'll also add a bit of indigo to the mix Okay, let's see it with the fish inside. Well, it was kind of a good idea. Maybe not a shaker hoodie because the fabric's too soft. The theory is soft, but at least you can like this with the fingers move the fish and it's quite fun to move the fish around the dome with the fingers. Let's see it on the doll. Wow. This is so cool. But I'll have to decorate the area around the stitching of the dome. 
However, I don't really want to affect the fact that I can move the fish around with fingers. So it's a doll hoodie and also a fidget toy. Then I decorated the dome with a ruffle just to make the transition from fabric to the dome prettier and the fish can still move whenever I do it with my fingers. It's actually a great thing to have and play with, actually. I have these butterfly glitters from Timu and I was thinking of decorating the dome and the ruffle with them. And I've decided to use the teal one and the translucent one for the dome and black ones for the ruffles that decorate the dome. Ruffle decorated. Now, I'm still thinking about should I do that to the dome as well as the ruffle that decorates the dome I'm debating on. Should I do it? Should I not? Because I do like the way it looks right now. And I'm sort of thinking maybe the extra butterfly glitter could be too much, even though I'm still thinking about it. Then I've made the final decision. Add some orange butterflies around the ruffle and a bit on the dome. However, I didn't want to make the dome look like there's too much glitter and I still wanted the fish to be visible. So I took consideration of that. And would you look at that? The black, pink and orange color scheme actually looks good in the Gummy Fish River theme. Okay, so the bottom part of the hoodie is stitched up. Now I'm going to stitch the hood on and then try it on Nicholas Mello. For the hood, I'm going to stitch here and stitch it like there will be a closure in the back but still he can wear the hood type of stitch like here keep it loose there and then stitch it here after the loose stitch, I'm going to finish it off here, the stitching part. And a knot to seal the stitch in. Cut it off. Okay, that's how the hoodie looks on Nicholas Mello. Well, the fidget part with the fish and the dome is the standout feature, but this part looks plain, so. I'm going to stitch on a white collar and add orange strings just to 
keep it simple yet not too simple. I've stitched on the white collar by making small white fabric triangles and stitching them on along with a white bead to imitate a button. So now let's add the orange strings I was talking about. However, I will use the white thread and then color it orange because I want to add color to it. Just like the colorful feature on the hoodie is that it has that fish dome on it. Yep, the camera focused on it now. And I'm using that boat that I made in the last episode. If you hadn't seen it then I will source it in the description. To add strings to doll hoodies you can just do it with thread. Not here, then another not here, stitch it on and uh, Loose knot and then cut it off, it's that easy to add strings to a doll hoodie. Kind of like them in white. I will think about it. Cause kind of like his hoodie with the black and white and the white strings. However, I was anticipating to put the orange ochre color on the strings, but I do like them in white as well as this. Off camera, I gave and made Nicholas mellow colorful shorts with the black hoodie. I just didn't like it with the black shorts. So that's why I gave him the colorful ones. Because it just makes the outfit more balanced. Like it does have dark elements but there's also some bright colors. In the outfit too. And if you prefer the black shorts with that hoodie, personally, then that's fine. You may have a different taste than me, but that's just me. However, it's also the fact that the black hoodie has like the colorful fish dome on it in the hood. That also brings it out with the shorts. I've made those glow in the dark shoes for Nicholas Mello. In my opinion they don't really match the vibe of the gummy fish river so I'll have to make him new ones but he can wear the glow in the dark ones with something else these shoes look better now the entire outfit matches the vibe and the gummy fish river theming even though I'm still thinking about those strings on the hoodie. Do you like them in white on this hoodie? However, I'm still thinking should I color them to match the theme. Then I finally decided to make those strings this shade of orange I thought why 
not combine the white and the orange in the strings because I did like the white how it looked on the strings but I also wanted the orange so I combined the two ideas to keep it white and to color it orange so this is why I did it in like orange stripes So Chef Jax, that's the finished hoodie for Nicholas Mello in the Gummy Fish River City. What do you think of it? Wow, I really like that fidget part of it. Fidget with it like this. I know it's not a shaker like I hoped at the start, but that's okay. At least I have learned that fabrics are too soft for being a shaker, but I can still make it like a fun fidget toy. A piece of doll clothing and a fidget toy, two in one. But anyways, bye Chef Jacks. See you in another video. Bye.